Hi, my name is Ilya and I'm a founder of a company called speak to it and we are working on uh, virtual assistance, token virtual assistance for mobile phones. So the idea is that you just say something in natural language, ask for something and it does. Our, it looks like this. This is a virtual assistant. I can actually say, hello. How are you? What's the weather like? Searching for your location. Now in San Francisco, it is currently like May, 55 degrees Fahrenheit, 13 degrees Celsius. So the product works with external uh, services. So we, are, we do all the natural language processing. We understand what is the intention of a user, what, what, is it, uh, what is the user asks about, and try to work with external services in order to get uh, the best feed, the best result. For the users. Now, if people see this now, of course, they're going to say Siri. Sure. Apple just launched it. So, what's um, I understand you were out with this first, and then was it a surprise to you that Apple came out with this, or how did this play out? Well, it was not actually a surprise for us. Uh, so, we knew about Siri, of course, and the acquisition uh, by Apple uh, last year. And uh, we, we actually started before Siri re released last year. Um, and uh, it is it is really good for us that Apple does this, this just because it pushes the whole market. So people uh, currently start to think uh, how to talk to their smartphones, to technologies in general. So that's a sort of new type of interface. And I suppose there is a lot of space for different uh, companies in the market. So uh, we can compete here. And after the announcement of uh, Apple Siri, we have a really a huge growth of downloads because users are looking for something like that for Android and um, we provide this functionality and users really like it. We have got lots of positive uh, feedbacks from users. Of course, they uh, uh, most of the time they uh, try something like what uh, Apple showed in their ads, uh, but there are some differences. So for example, uh, in our as for our app, it, it has those avatars that can be configured so you can uh, construct uh, the appearance of the avatar uh, as you like, as you want it uh, to look like, and uh, it is also sort of a personal touch in this assistant. So it uh, really knows uh, a lot about you. Uh, it can talk to you. It can just give you some jokes. You can discuss your mood or something like that. Now you are a Russian startup, or your company is a Russian startup, um, but you're targeting the international market first with this. Why did you try to? Why did Why did you develop it for the U.S. market first? I guess. Um, well, actually, r right now we sort of we are sort of uh, an American company with Russian developers. So we are registered in, in, in the U.S. Um, we have lots of uh, in our team. There are lots of people who have experience in natural language processing. Um, of course, we started from the U.S. market just because there, there are tools like our search engines. Uh, uh, I mean, um, speech, speech recognition engines in the market. Are available in English and they are sort of better quality just because lots of people are working on it and also um, the whole market of smartphones is much more developed in the US. And do you think as a startup now that Apple has um, basically launched a similar personal assistant mm -hmm. do you think that Google is going to come out with something like this and how can you compete with the big boys I guess? Well we are sort of different in terms of this personality aspect um, also, we are sort of more flexible and uh, we can take risks, we can develop really cool features that, that, uh, that uh, should be, you know, uh, for Google or Apple to um, implement and to launch. They should uh, test them for a long time, you know. So we are sort of more for geeks and for people who, are, who like to try new technologies. And we really listen to our users. So, for example, uh, like two days ago, when uh, three days ago, when uh, Siri uh, was announced, um, we've got lots of downloads, and users asked us started starting to uh, started to ask us uh, about launching something like playing music, and we didn't support it yet. But tomorrow it will work. It will be in the product. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you.